Hi there, lovers and friends. Today, we're diving into a topic that's close to my heart or more accurately, close to the lips. That's right. We're talking about kissing, the art of kissing. But hold on, not only will I be sharing some fascinating fun facts about smooching on my own, but we're also going to learn some advanced techniques from a beducated course all about kissing. And I'll be demonstrating a few exciting techniques that we learned with my husband, Jared Bra Brady, blah, blah, what's his name? Jared Brady. Plus, I'm gonna show you the secret kissing move that Jared taught me that will make you, I promise you, the best they have ever had. Did you catch that tip? If not, don't worry, we'll explain it in detail. First, let's get to the science though. When you kiss someone, your brain releases a surge of chemicals like oxytocin, called the love or cuddle hormone, dopamine, which is associated with pleasure and reward, and serotonin, which helps to regulate your mood. So that to be said, if you are having an incredibly stressful day, one thing you can do to calm your brain and your nerves down is make out with somebody. I think that's pretty good prescriptive doctoral advice. Kissing burns calories up to 6.4 calories per minute. Kissing can be good for dental health. One, because it encourages you to brush your teeth and to floss and to use mouthwash. And two, it also stimulates saliva production, which helps clean the mouth and prevent tooth decay. Kissing can act as a pain reliever. Kissing releases endorphins, which are the body's natural painkillers. This means a kiss from your loved one might actually help alleviate pain. Kissing helps you live longer. People who kiss their partners frequently report higher relationship satisfaction and in turn may live longer, healthier lives. And you've probably heard this one before, MHC genes, major histocompatibility complex. There is some evidence that suggests that kissing may help people subconsciously assess the genetic compatibility of potential mates. One theory states that people are more attracted to partners with similar MHC genes, which could potentially lead to offspring with stronger immune system. All that from a first kiss. All right, I know what you're thinking. Enough with the kissing clips. Can we just really get into it? But first, those of you who wanna be teased, I got something for you. I wanna tell you about our sponsor, Beducated, the number one online platform for sexual health and happiness. To me, it's like the Netflix of sexual wellness. It's an online course platform that helps you to level up your love life and upgrade your love making skills. Something that all of us, regardless of experience level, can benefit from. So the site offers an extensive library of over one 100 online courses. Can you even list 100 different sex and sensuality acts curated by the world's leading experts and ranging from exotic dancing to anal play, emotional well being to the secrets of great rough sex? You can all try Beducated for free for an entire day. You're not gonna get charged for the first 24 hours and you can cancel at any time. And it does get better if you choose to go beyond learning about unspeakable pleasures for more than 24 hours. You can grab a phenomenal 40% off the yearly pass by using my exclusive coupon code you won't find anywhere else, and that is booty. Thank you so much to Beducated for bringing this incredible opportunity to our viewers. And now for our viewers, let's get to it. So the first thing that I saw on that video was a kissing workout. So we're gonna do a kissing workout right now. Oh, I love this idea. Okay, so the first workout we're gonna do is smile for 20 seconds. It's starting to hurt now. We got strong cheeks. Okay. Do you, you're not supposed to do that yet. Why do you think they suggested that you smile for 20 seconds before you, before you kiss? To get the brain chemicals in a good space, to put you in a state of calm and connect. Okay. Yeah, you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next exercise, these are called lips push-ups. So what you're gonna do is, we're gonna basically put your lips to your fish and push them up. Okay, you do me, I'll do you. No, they actually, they advise that we don't do that. Jared, we're allowed to freestyle <laughs> a little bit. You're so by the book. Okay, your... let's go. Are you putting pressure though? What's the point of this? 
I'll tell you after. Probably the brain is thinking soft lips are better, but there has been studies to show that firm lips actually activate the person thinking this was a good kiss more than soft lips. Let's test that out. Okay, soft. I can see how the firm is more memorable because it like stays longer. Yeah, I like the firm lips a little bit more. Do you? Yeah. I always try. There to... has to be a balance. Yes. It can't just be soft all the time. But if it's firm, it's just. No, that's pecking. That's now this one's gonna get a little weird because uh, it's strange. We're going to do ahs and mmms. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Uh. Mmm. Mm. Uh. Mm. All right. Do you know why they suggested we do ahs and mmms? Does it put you like in a state of arousal? Lips and genitals are the same, that they get engorged with blood when you're aroused. So the sensation of kissing somebody when you're fully ready versus when you're just getting started is gonna be completely different. Yeah. So the same way that you wouldn't just walk up to somebody and start giving them a hand job. Um, yeah. There has to be a build up too to the kiss, so I get that. Okay. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> this is a learning experience, okay. Um, so the first technique is the press up against the body kissing which we didn't do naturally. Well, I think we do on our own time, not on video. Mm -hmm. But they, for whatever reason, like when you press against each other and kiss, oh, it's supposed feels... to be like more passionate, but it's like a little weird. Okay, put your, Maybe... you got a straddle. Let's put your leg over here so we can like get into each other. So now we're like, maybe you gotta be pelvis to pelvis in order for this to make sense, mm -hmm. or else it's a weird twist. <laughs> this is not, that's not why are you doing chest to chest it's so unnatural <laughs> why don't you do like a back of the head or like okay a, i get that yeah yeah hands the importance of hands yes okay so put pressure on the body yeah okay. I, while you're kissing all right okay here is my pro tip on kissing that i learned from you as a matter of fact, it's good that we're doing this video because we just had our best kiss ever about a month and a half ago. It was no different. It, it was, was just different. because we hadn't kissed in a long time. Let me show you the pro tip that you did. Okay. That I don't know if you even know that you did. Okay. During the kiss, you took one hand and went on the neck mm. left to right, mm. and the other hand went in my hair up mm. and down. Mm. And that was like. <laughs> there, there, there's my. How does that feel? Pro. That was great. Without kissing? Yeah. Now try it with. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah? Yeah. They do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> the other techniques are mindful kissing, which is like extremely slow kissing. <clears throat> I'll go in for a kiss, and when they start to commit, I'll pull back and make them come the rest of the way. <laughs> this is the last technique. The last technique is, which I didn't understand, so you gotta help me with this one. They said for to trade off, one partner kisses the other lip while they trace the bottom lip with their tongue. Okay, so top so, to bottom. So if I'm kissing... No, because you just traced my upper lip. Okay, so I'll kiss the... No, you have, that's what I'm saying, it doesn't make sense. You have to kiss the upper lip and trace the bottom lip with your tongue. Okay, let, let the expert expert. Just stop talking. Okay, go. <laughs> it's not working.
I just wanna end this video by saying shout out to Jared who is not a fan of PDA and really took it and went there with me. And yeah, he met me where my kink is at. I had a really great time. If you had a great time watching this video, you are going to love Beducated, the sponsor of this episode. And now, even if you are a certified freak, you could always learn some new tricks. And Beducated taught me the art of squirting with a technique that is called around the clock. For those who know, know, truly, truly life-changing. Now, if I've piqued your interest at all, wait till you hear about this offer. Test drive all of Beducated's courses for free for a full day. Literally no charge at all for the first 24 hours. And when you agree that it's not nearly enough time to get through their 100 courses, you can grab a phenomenal 40% off the yearly pass by using my exclusive coupon code BOOTY. Yes! That means you can join Beducated now starting from just $10 per month. It is time to level up your intimacy game and do it risk-free for 14 days with their money back guarantee. Again, go to beducated.com, click try for free. And when you're ready to commit, use that coupon code booty for 40% off for an entire year. Go get yours. What happened? Why are you looking at me like it's magic? Used to have me reaching climaxing. Be over with Atlantic, I know what happened. Now you say you passed it, girl. I know that's tragic. Don't be so dramatic, let's reattach it. Uh. Focus on the good days while you get.